Welcome to What's Cooking with Mary Gray. Today we're gonna make an alternative to German potato salad. So to start the recipe, what we did was we steamed 16 ounces of cauliflower. So you can use the steamer bags or a steamer basket, but it's about four to six cups of steamed cauliflower. So the next step in this recipe is to add green onions. So we've got two green onions or scallions and we're going to chop them. So this is gonna give it a nice mild onion flavor. Okay, all right. So once we have this chopped, I'm gonna add it to a bowl. And next we're gonna add seedless cucumber. So around a half of a cup, so I'm estimating about half of a cucumber. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the end here. What I like to do is just go ahead and quarter it, and then I just cut it into thin pieces. All right, so now that we have the cucumber chopped, I'm gonna go ahead and add about a half of a cup. That's about a half a cup to the bowl. And then next we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. So we've got some fresh parsley, about two tablespoons. So I'm adding that in. I'm adding in a tablespoon of dill pickle juice. Gives it a salty, briny taste. And then we're going to add a little bit of low fat sour cream and add that in. You can also use Greek yogurt and that would add a little bit more protein. It also helps us to reduce the amount of mayonnaise that's in this recipe. So there is a quarter of a cup of reduced fat mayonnaise where you could use olive oil mayonnaise. That's what this is. So between the sour cream or Greek yogurt and the mayonnaise, that's the creaminess. We're gonna add a little bit of yellow mustard, so a teaspoon of yellow mustard. Two slices of cooked bacon that I've chopped. That goes in. And then a dash of salt and pepper. All right. And then we're just gonna stir this together. Just until it's well combined. And then last, now that it's well combined, we're going to add it to the cooked cauliflower. So I'm just going to dump this bowl into the larger bowl of cauliflower. And then we're gonna stir it. So you've got the meatiness of the cauliflower and you've got the freshness of the cucumbers and you've got the brininess of the dill pickles and the mustard along with the creaminess of the mayonnaise and sour cream. So then top it with a little bit of fresh parsley for garnish and you're ready to serve.